Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another quick vlog and I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't really been keeping you guys over here on YouTube updated as much as I probably should. I've mainly been giving updates over on like Twitter and Twitch and people who have been following me on those platforms know what I've been doing this like past month or so. But you guys might have been wondering because my upload schedule has been really inconsistent here and I'm very sorry about that. I'm doing my best but I've kind of been focusing on Twitch a little bit more recently. Uh, not that I don't care about YouTube. I absolutely love YouTube. I'll never stop making videos. And in fact, like recently, I feel like the content I've been making here on the channel has been a lot more fun for me as well. I really love Rockowin. I love Gone Home. And I really like the one shots that I've been doing from Itch.io and Lagged. I think it's awesome that Lagged has partnered with me to be able to make those videos because it keeps me afloat. And at the same time, I actually really enjoy the games. They like harken back to the day when I used to play goofy arcade flash games in the school library when I was a kid. So it's really awesome to be able to do those on the channel and sort of have this nostalgic throwback. But like I said, I've been really active on Twitter and Twitch and it's been really cool because I like Twitch a lot for its like real time aspects. Obviously, it's always great seeing the comments here on YouTube and being able to interact with you guys via social media, but it's never in real time. It's never something that like a question pops up and I answer it immediately because it's a site that's sort of static. You know, you put up a comment on a YouTube video and I'm not actively sitting there waiting for that comment to pop up to answer it right away. Not saying that I don't appreciate those. Like I said, I love seeing those comments, but over on Twitch, it's been really cool because I've been able to stream and then talk to you guys. You guys can ask questions. I can give an answer right away or I can ask you questions and I can see the chat fill up with answers. And it's just another great way for me to reach out and interact with you guys. And another awesome aspect of that is the fact that I've been able to actually do a lot of charity fundraising over on Twitch. I've always used Twitch as a branch of my fundraising. Uh, this is no exception. This was actually the fourth time that I've done the St. Jude Play live event. This is my fourth year doing it. And for those of you guys who might have missed the vlog about it or might have missed my tweets about it, I was actually out in Memphis last month. Um, and I was able to actually go see uh, the St. Jude Children's Hospital, which was incredible. I got to go visit them in Memphis at their headquarters. Uh, me and a bunch of other streamers who have raised money for the St. Jude Play Live initiative before got to all meet up and we got to ask our questions directly to the hospital uh, staff who, who came out and helped with that event. We got to like walk around, view the hospital. Uh, unfortunately, due to HIPAA, like health code laws, I wasn't able to take any pictures or anything like that that's just the way that it works at every hospital you don't want to like break the confidentiality of the patients who are being treated there but I can tell you this it was an incredibly moving and motivating experience the more that I learned about the mission statement of St. Jude the more I want to help this organization and I've shared this before I mean they are St. Jude Children's Research Hospital one of the coolest things they do is when they have medical breakthroughs they're able to take that research publish it online for free and then every other other hospital or medical organization around the world who wants to use those techniques and use that technology is able to so that they can treat cancer as well and increase the overall survivability of cancer patients, which is just awesome. It's so, so cool that they do that. And I honestly believe that by helping out initiatives like St. Jude, we're helping push the cure for cancer. I, I think they're going to be one of the forerunners, like the front runners of the, the entire cure for cancer. I honestly believe that. I feel like their organization is really breaking a lot of boundaries right now. And it's so cool. I'm not saying that other organizations aren't doing that, but they are absolutely committed to this goal of eradicating cancer, not just for kids, but for everyone around the world. And I think that's amazing. And it was so awesome because I used the first half of this month of May to raise money for St. Jude Play Live again. And because of the efforts of this community, I set the highest most ambitious goal I ever have for any charity of $5,000 and we smashed through it. It was unbelievable. You guys did something amazing by doing that and you didn't have to donate to help that. You guys supporting me right now watching this video or watching those live streams or telling people when I did live stream or those of you who did directly donate, 
all of you helped. You contributed your time, you contributed your energy, some of you contributed money. We got to $5,700, which is the most I've ever raised for a single charity fund before. And it's not over yet. We actually have the rest of the month of May to continue to raise money for St. Jude. So the link is actually still active on my Twitch page. You guys can find all my social links down below in the description like normal. And I'll also leave the donation link for the charity directly if you guys wanna donate. Cause I don't have to be streaming for you to donate. If you donate anytime during May, it still goes towards that campaign, which is incredible. It's really, really amazing that not only did we hit 5,700, but you guys hit 5,700. I wanted to say thank you. I honestly just, I, it's incredible. Because of the contributions that this whole community has made, we are able to fund several days worth of chemotherapy for a child or possibly several days of chemotherapy for several children, depending on how they split up those funds. And that might not sound like a lot. Some people might be like, well, what's you know one day of chemo gonna do for like four or five kids? That one day of chemo could be the last day of chemo that they need before their cancer is completely cured. And that's something that you guys did. And like I said, you didn't have to donate money to be a part of that. You supporting me while I support a cause that I believe in so passionately is support. And that means the world to me. So I wanted to say thank you guys for making this just an amazing set of streams. We did a bunch of goofy things live on camera. I did everything from playing Hanzo only Overwatch, who Hanzo, for those of you who don't know, he's my least favorite character. I hate playing him. I somehow got kind of good because I played like, I don't know, 12 hours of Hanzo or something insane like that over the course of several days. Just there's so much Hanzo Overwatch on the channel. Uh, we hit a bunch of other milestones. The final one at 5,000 was Morgan came on stream and she put uh, makeup on me. She did me all up fancy and nice. There's actually an Instagram picture of that if you guys want to check out my Instagram for the aftermath of that. But I just moved beyond words, absolutely moved beyond words because I got to go to Memphis and I got to meet some of the families. I got to meet some of the kids. I got to see the hope that was alive in their eyes, which is part of the reason that I named my campaign Keeping Hope Alive. I just, I... What an incredible month month it's been. You guys made this one of the best months ever, and I can't ever say thank you enough. This is us paying kindness forward to people who are way less fortunate than us, and like I said, there's just no words that I have that could thank you guys enough. So I'll start by saying thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, that was like super long-winded. I'm sorry about that. I just had a lot of thoughts and they all just sort of like snowballed together. Welcome to the world of ADD. This is just how my brain works and how my energy manifests itself. But I'm still having a great time over here on YouTube. I'm sorry that I've been so dedicated to that charity push over on uh, the Twitch channel, but I'm going to resume sort of like normal streams over on Twitch. Like I said, you have the rest of May if you wanna donate to the charity, but I'm not gonna be pushing it quite as hardcore core just due to the fact that we not only met the goal but we smashed through it we destroyed the goal and as much as i'd like to see more money going towards the overall uh saint jude play live event which by the way for the first time ever broke one million dollars total raised by all the communities that are contributing to it which is just like that's so much money that's going to help so many families help so many kids but uh, as much as I love being able to contribute to that, I also don't want to like be so in your face about it that you guys get sick of hearing it and get sort of like charity burnout. So it is available still to donate to, but we will be resuming a uh, normal stream. Sorry, I'm punching my mic because I'm just so excited talking about this stuff. But uh, yeah normal streams and also I'm still going to continue to really enjoy recording Rockwin and Gone Home here on YouTube as well as all those one shots and everything. Things have been pretty good recently. I've just been sort of like in a funk as, so as sort of uh, like trying to get onto a better schedule and I'm so sorry about that guys but I will fix that schedule soon. I haven't given up on YouTube, I haven't given up on Twitch or anything like that. People are always like, I'm worried because you upload so late at night. And I'm like, it's just who I am. I'm a, a completely random weird person. And sometimes I get on these weird insomniac schedules where I'm not really 
concentrating on doing work as much as I should because I get distracted by something or something comes up in real life that I have to like, you know, be more dedicated to. And I'm sorry about that, but I promise that I will definitely be getting back on a better schedule with uploads. And I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. I cannot believe that I've been doing the full time thing for like over a year now or around a year now. Like, I never dreamt in a million years that this was going to happen. I never, ever, ever thought that anyone would care about me enough online or in life in general to support me, to allow me to do something that I was this passionate about for a living. And you guys have done that and you've gone above and beyond in every kind of way. If YouTube drops out from under me as a platform right now, which it very well could, I mean, you guys have probably heard all the rumors and everything, but YouTube has not really been treating creators is great. They've sort of been pushing people off the platform. Things are just really funky. Uh, they don't listen to creator feedback, etc., etc. Even if that happens, if YouTube for whatever reason folds, I have all the memories and all the experiences that we've made together, and I will never take those for granted. Uh, not a single one. You guys have been here so strong as a community, and you have proved it time after time again, especially with things like the charity fundraiser, and I just, I don't have words. So thank you for everything, guys, seriously. I'm gonna have a gameplay video up tomorrow, I promise. I'll get back into some Gone Home, do some more one-shots, etc. We'll get some new series started on the channel. Things will continue as normal. Like I said, sorry if my schedule's sort of all over the place. I'm prepping for some upcoming travel as well, but, uh, Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves here on the channel. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Whether you're here for one video or you're here for the long haul, thank you so much. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this very rambly vlog, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Sir,